You know Mother Earth is a hot mama, which means she has to have some hot lashes. So with the lashes, they come in cases like this if you get them from MAC or something similar to this if you get it from like a hair salon. And what you want to make sure you're do, you do is be really careful when you're untouching, unta detaching them <laughs> from the case because they have that like that credit card kind of goo on it. So just take your thumb and lightly pull on it like so. It might take you a little while, especially if your hands have just been sanitized like mine. See? Pretty easy though. And they come out like this. What I like to do, if I don't already know, is to pre-measure them on my eyelid. I figure out where I'm going to essentially start them and where they're going to end. And if they're a little long, which these are kind of a little too wide for my eye shape. See out there? I just snip it just a little bit. And that's totally fine. You can use them for bottom lashes. You could use them again just to make your lashes a little bit more full. So I'm going to cut about a centimeter in. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other set of lashes. Generally speaking, unless your lashes are very funky, the shorter ended lashes always go towards, well, j pretty much go towards the inner corner of your eye. Because if you study your own lashes, chances are, these are a little bit, uh, they're not as, oh my god, blah, 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 blah. let's just rewind that moment. Generally speaking, the longer lashes go on the outer corner because these are shorter. That was so hard for me to say. I can't tell you why. So we didn't have any interruptions while I was doing my upper liner. Let's see if we have some while I'm doing my lashes. Because my friend should be here in like three seconds. So I'm going to take Duo Surgical Adhesive. It's the only lash glue that I have used that I really recommend for other people. Oh, except when the glue is, like, not working. <laughs> My cap glued shut. Can you see that? That was blocking the glue. All right. So just take your lash strip. You could put it, the glue on a flat surface if, if you want, just so you don't get too much. I don't know. You could see that just then. Ah! But what I normally do is I start in the center of the lash with the glue and just lightly pump out a little bit till I, till I get to the outer corner and then the inner corner. So since this lash's inner corner lashes are shorter here, it's going to go on my right eye so that the longer lashes are out like that. All right. So now what you do is you got to shake it a little bit. Get it tacky. It takes usually about 10, 25 seconds maybe to do that. And you can just stare at yourself and make sure everything looks well blended and it's pretty, pretty accessible. I mean, acceptable to you. I don't know what my deal is today. I apologize over and over and over again for sounding la. It's not an adjective to describe how I'm feeling. La la. <laughs> la 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 la. All the boys and all of the girls are begging to learn how to apply lashes. All right. So I like to start by holding the outer corner part and figuring out. Oh, let me move my mirror. Oh, but that blocks you guys. There we go. Oh, much better. All right, I do the, the outer lashes first. That's just my personal preference. And I stick it on, make sure it's where I want them to be. If I need to shift it, I can. Open, check, okay. And then go ahead and apply it to the inner corner. And what's great about this glue, specifically this color glue, which is white, it dries clear. So you don't have to worry about having a line. Now, I, I like to take a pen or a bobby pin, sometimes even tweezers, and just press it across the lash line so I know it's getting really close. You don't want these to actually be glued onto your lashes if you can help it. 
this part right here I couldn't get off so that's probably gonna glue my lashes together but it's whatever and then if your eyes do like this little number all you gotta do is like pull down gently like that and use your pen to your advantage or whatever object you're using and just separate the lashes before the glue completely dries and there you go see we've got some lashes on now so that's all it takes let's see if I can do that same thing on the other side and typically it takes just a few minutes for the lash glue to go away I've seen some people get their lashes done in the mall and then you know they're worried about their lash glue not drying but I tell them by the time you get out to your car they're probably gonna be perfect so chill out mama Now you never want to blow on your lashes if you're in a professional setting because some people will be like, uh, hello, your germs. But for the sake of doing them on yourself, told you, interruption. Hello. Hi. Hi. So, are we, so what's going to happen to the DJ today? Huh? Have you dropped the DJ? I have. I'm gonna make tree the water. Really? Yeah. But I said, well, she doesn't have any of that stuff. I mean, I can rest my house and she's not there, but it's not. No, I mean, what does she have? She has her dirty food. That's fine. That'll. Okay. It'll be just fine. Alright. Wait, where are you? Well, I'm on the way. Okay, I'll see you soon. Alright. Bye. See, that's, it gets crazy when we're trying to have a photo shoot and people call and they're like, uh, I don't feel good. Fine, BJ, stay home then. Punkaroo. <laughs> okay. So we got that lash on. And then you can just fold it. And I usually, on other people, don't put mascara on the upper lashes just because it looks better if you don't try to coat the false lashes and you can reuse them more but I definitely do the bottom lashes so go ahead and coat those as I was saying don't do your best not to coat the false eyelashes because you can get four or five uses out of them if you take care of them and you don't glue too much of them and if you don't pull out all the hairs it just takes a little extra effort I heard about one chick who only wore her lashes one time because she would get so sloshed at the club that by the time she got home she would just like rip them off and like stick them on her bathroom wall and she'd wake up in the morning and see that she'd be like ah, why are my lashes on the wall uh honey because you kind of Drank a little too much and decided that that would be the most appropriate place to place them. Craziness. Watch her watch this video and be like, oh my god, that was so me. <laughs> you can curl your lashes using an eyelash curler if you would like, and I'll show you what that does. I have to be really careful and definitely make sure the glue has dried. See? See over here? The glue is pretty much gone. Sometimes you have to just push down on them so that your lashes go like this so that you put the curler on and shh, they go up like that. All right, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. See that? And then that helps pinch them together so they blend with your lashes. All right, so that's it for the eyes other than eyebrows, which I'm gonna do next. So stay tuned for part four. Oh my lord, I need to have my own little mini series. And I'm gonna do that one when the glue dries.